Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Jamie Reacts. I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to be reacting to The Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 3. Uh, now, last time we, we saw the, the death of... Uh, it's bad, I don't remember her name. Tess or Ness, I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Tess. Um, and she went out like a boss and, and protecting, um, protecting Ellie and Joel. Um, unfortunately, she did get bit, and honestly, I'd rather go like that than become one of those things, so I think she made ultimately the right decision um so now joel and ellie are by themselves uh, and they're going to find someone i can't remember the names of people they were going to find but they're trying to get a car they're trying to get ellie to where she needs to be because uh, she is potentially the the cure for this whole thing so uh yeah i'm ready to get into this episode if you'd like to show your support you can like subscribe or even join my patreon we have options for polls full reactions and up to four weeks of early access so if you're interested in that at all the link will be in the description down below and with that being said i'm going to go ahead and get into this video i've been thinking about I want your sorry i wasn't going to say i'm sorry i was going to say that i've been thinking about what happened nobody made you or test take me Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Well, she's right, but I don't know if she's... I don't know if he's blaming her or not, but she is right about that. I'm... I'm, I'm you know, I'm kind of glad she isn't feeling, feeling guilty, like it's all her fault that they're on this mission. And, that's, and she's right about that. You forgot where you put your stuff. No. I'm just zeroing in on it. <laughs> Uh, did they seriously not find this yet? I can't buy that. Uh, something's gonna pop out. Uh, I, this show, honestly, get, I'm so nervous every time I turn on to watch this show. Because I, I don't like jump scares. I'm just afraid that at any moment there could be one. I would not be going down there. I mean, she's obviously a lot more badass than I am, for sure. But I just can't believe that they've looked through all this place and not found this. They've definitely had to have found this, right? Like, if I was a scavenger and looking for any way to survive, I would scour everything. No way that Joel would have... I mean, obviously he might have. Oh, no. There is something down here, man. I hope that's the only one. Don't get closer to it. Why would you... Ellie, what are you doing? Man. All right. Well, that was a scene. Mm. Went through the countryside, evacuated the small towns. Told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. If there was room. They just executed the rest. Jeez. <sighs> Man. These people weren't sick? No, probably not. It's ridiculous. I mean, we already knew that they would do stuff like that after what... After what they did to... Uh... Joel's daughter. Oh, I don't want to see this. Not today, you new world order jackboot fucks. Who the heck is that? A lot of freaking weapons. Heck of a stash. Hey! I've never seen Parks and Rec, but I know he's from that. Offerman, is that his last name? Could he be one of the, uh, people that were, were after for the car or whatever? I mean, he's a big actor, so I imagine he's not going to just play flashback, man. Man, he is stocking up. I mean, it's smart, honestly. Now he's got the whole town to himself. Got a generator. Man, this man was ready. He was ready for for crap to hit the fan. Is it infected? Ah, you poor infected. You don't know what's about to hit you. You're the first one in line. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Hey, I mean, it's better than living in the QZ, man. He's got this place 
freaking barricaded. It's like his own town. That's crazy. Why did you take that long to answer? I don't know. I, I thought about lying for some reason, but the reason didn't come. Hmm. I'm trying to get to Boston. I mean, I don't, I don't see his reason to lie. I mean, who would, who would want to uh, destroy this place? I mean, Federer, I feel like if they knew about it, could just come in here and take over if they wanted to so it doesn't make sense for this guy to be someone bad so i guess i should just trust him unless he's like an outlaw or a um raider which i guess could be the case i'm not gonna say that's not the case i didn't think about that if i feed you then every bum you talk to about it is gonna show up here looking for a free lunch and this is not an arby's i get it well, arby's didn't have free lunch it was a restaurant <laughs> i guess that's true too <laughs> I get it, man. You made this whole thing, and he's he's right. If you start giving out stuff, then everyone's gonna be here, and everyone's gonna eventually know about it. I get him understand. I understand him being careful for sure. Yeah, this would be insane. I don't remember exactly how long they said past. I know it showed me. I think it was years. I mean, this would probably be the best meal that they've had in so long. This guy was living good, man. He was smart. Man, that must be so nice after so long. Why does he look so upset? <laughs> he looks so stressed out. No, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not a professional. Well, neither am I. And then I'll leave. Sounds like good advice. But there's no one. I understand why he's so stressed now. He was doing it completely wrong, apparently. So, who's the girl? The girl you were singing about. There is no girl. I know. Well then. They just met. But I guess... It has been... A long time. What's your name? That would be nice to know. Yeah, Bill is one of the names. So he must be someone we're going to see. Yeah, I mean, I, my my first reaction was it was moving really, really fast. They just met each other, but I guess in the same breath that uh, it has been a uh, a while, uh, four years, I guess. So I think it was four years. So I guess that explains the suddenness. Well, that escalated. That changed real fast. I live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! <laughs> well, yeah, now. <laughs> and I'm fixing up some of the shops. Whoa. Not the stupid ones, just the, the wine shop and the furniture store. Oh, okay. So he's wanting to fix up the town so it feels more like a home. I guess I kind of understand that, but I also think I would honestly be more on Bill's side on this. Like, who knows how long we're going to be here? Probably for the rest of our lives, and we need to make sure we have enough resources. But I also guess I get the same. Friends, and we will invite them to visit. <sighs> Don't know about that one. Don't have friends frank i've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio you what right mm -hmm. can you not please <laughs> oh same way oh you're a paranoid schizophrenic too i'm not schizophrenic okay that's cool use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening oh that's a good idea uh, okay, so that's the, okay. So that's the codes that they were talking about in the second episode? Interesting, okay. Being well protected against stray infected. Man, this is kind of cool, though. I like this. There'll be raiders. They'll beat that fence and your tripwires. 
They'll come at night, quiet and armed. Ah, no, the raiders are coming. Ah, crap, is he going to die? Not Bill, but, um, I can't remember his name. I'm so bad with names, guys. Where's Bill? Oh, he's already out there fighting. No, 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 he's gonna get shot, he's gonna get shot, he's gonna get shot. I mean, Bill's still alive because that's who they're trying to go see, but... I don't know, man. I got a bad feeling about this. Frank. Wait, is he dead? I just realized that Frank is the other name that... That Joel was mentioning. So, okay, maybe Frank is still alive. Oh, no. Oh, maybe he assumed he was still alive because this is present day. Looks like he's going to be dead, though. Looks like something wrong is going on. He's in a wheelchair. Okay. I, I didn't realize till now that uh, Joel had said Frank, and I just put two and two together. Yeah, he's gonna die, isn't he? You know, overall, I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna die. No, no, I'll wait. I'll wait to say it until I know that he is gonna die. But I think he's gonna die. I promise you, I'm gonna stay up. Why? Cause this is my last day. What if we find a doctor? What if what if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman? <laughs> there wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. I've made up my mind. Yeah, I mean... Wow. Well, you know, they, they honestly lived a really good life given the situation. Give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> then you will crush all of these up. Put them in my wine. I will drink it. Wow. Put in my hand. Bring me to our bed. And I will fall asleep in your arms. Holy crap. <sighs> yeah, it'll be a lot to ask. <sighs> Man, that's gotta be so rough. I mean... I just can't even imagine just the whole gravity of the situation and having to know that this is your last day with, with someone else and just the flip side knowing this is your last day. Man, I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm being so silent. It's just a lot to take in, you know? Real heavy, real heavy situation. I couldn't imagine. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. I'm satisfied. Oh my gosh. And you were my purpose. Is he killing himself too? Take me to bed. Jeez. 
did he did he is he really killing himself too? Is that what was implied? Jeez. Oh, they they're gonna be there and they're just both dead. Wait, was that all literally like I mean I know it was in twenty twenty three, but did that just happened like as they were getting here? To whomever you'll probably draw. Oh. A sacred eye falling to whomever. So they're dead. Mm -hmm. Wow. You you wanna Man, the way he just said so they're dead, like I don't know, I mean, he's probably been through so much, he's just cold as ice, you know what I mean? Kind of have to be, you gotta kill your feelings, but man. I'm guessing you found this, Joel. Because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I never liked you. But still, it's like we're friends. Almost. And I respect you. I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. But I was wrong, because there was one person worth saving. Oh, wow. I saved him. Then I... That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. And God help any motherfucker who stand in our way. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep... Test safe. Test safe, sorry. God, oh, man. Screw this, I hate... He wants to break down, but he's trying to say strong. He's gonna find out about that. What a journey this freaking episode's been. Took me through a mental marathon. All right, guys, that was uh, that was uh, that was an episode. Um, took me through a journey. I'll tell you that much. Um, I was very silent for a lot of it because I was just taking it all in, and I I just was completely just. I don't know. I was crying, and then I wasn't crying, and I just like, I just felt numb at some point and it was a great episode um it, it, we spent almost all of it following bill and frank um and, and that was you know I, I guess i'll start from the beginning um it was i thought it was really cool how um you know bill had i mean he was a survivalist obviously and like he had that all, all set up but i mean he just built this whole bunker and i thought that was freaking sweet he had all that he needed he could have lived there for a long 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 time um so i thought that that whole setup was cool it was awesome to see that uh, i was a little bit skeptical of frank at first i thought that somehow he could be a raider maybe um but you know i they ended up you know i I just can't imagine, you know, in that situation, you know, having to go through that and make that decision. And, you know, at the end of the day, they, you know, they actually ended up dying a better death than pretty much anyone else in that world. You know what I mean? Like almost everyone else dies horrible deaths or lives out their life in the quarantine zone, which it seemed like where they were living, honestly, was a lot better than quarantine zone. Um... So honestly, they 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 lived a better and a lot longer life than a lot of people. I I would assume, um, and you know, there's part of that that's that's beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it ended up very very sad, and it, and it was very very sad. But it was kind of um, it's kind of beautiful that that they were able to live such a a long life, and that in the midst of everything that's going wrong, they were able to you know, just almost live a normal life, honestly, like, obviously, it's not normal, but it's about as normal as you're going to get in that situation, and, and, 
you know it, it like i said i keep saying it but it, it's very very beautiful um I, I the whole thing the whole parallels between um frank and bill and then joel and tess all on that suicide note um you know that that hit me pretty hard too because it's like use these weapons to protect ness they keep calling her ness tess and you know she just died as did the, you know the, as did frank just die and and bill but as did he just die so did so did tess and so they're all both going through it i mean obviously bill's dead but you know what i mean like it, it just the parallels there was really heavy hitting for me um and joel I, you know he really wanted to break down you could you know you could see he wanted to break down but he's trying to be tough and he's built up such a tough exterior and you know he is a tough guy obviously and he's probably been through a lot i mean just from what we've seen he's been through a lot and he's probably been through more than that and so like it's just like whenever like whenever they whenever he found out that they were dead he's like oh they're dead and obviously he felt more than that but it's like it almost didn't surprise him you know what i mean like he was just so numb to to everything that that the world had got uh, had to throw at him and it's just like another thing i mean obviously we saw him want to break down later um but i thought it was beautiful acting by pedro pascal um and i i i mean we're we're leaving off with them having the car and they're going to i believe detroit they said to find tommy or wyoming i think i don't remember um but I, I think I'm really going to end up like in um, Joel and Ellie's uh, relationship. I think that obviously it's going to be like a father daughter, but I can already kind of see the, the chemistry building, like just from that car ride that we saw and before that too, but that, you know, it seems like they might be growing on each other and actually be able to maybe end up being close. And I think that's ultimately where they're going to be um, ba basically like a father and daughter and, uh, I, I want that to happen. I, 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 I've said it a lot of times. Ellie is, is I, I love that character so much so far. Um, she's just very feisty and very uh, sarcastic, and I really like it. I really like it. And she's obviously very, she's a badass, and, you know, she's not really scared of, of I mean, she's scared, but she's not scared. Um, and I, and I, I really am liking her character so far. And I think it mixes well with Joel's kind of, like, rough, uh, you know, not like joking around type thing I, I i think the the two pair well together uh, on screen and um i'm excited to see what they're able to do with that that chemistry and um yeah i guess we're gonna we're gonna see from here i just i didn't expect i didn't expect bill to die and i didn't put it together till halfway through that joel said he was going to see bill and frank um but i i did put it there uh together there toward the end I thought Bill was gonna still be alive. I thought that it was just gonna that's he was gonna be um obviously in a depression because of everything, but I thought he was gonna be alive. And turns out that he's not, and that sucks. Um I really liked Bill. I thought, I thought he was cool. Cause he I mean he's he was besides him, he I I don't know, because I think ultimately I agree with Bill. Like you don't want outsiders because they can end up really messing with everything. Like you got a good thing going here and I I I liked him. I liked Bill a lot, and I I mean, I wish that he could somehow still be alive, but I don't see how he's still alive if he mixed all those pills in with the wine. I mean, very heavily implied that he's dead. Um, so I, I'm going to assume he's dead. I don't have any reason to believe he's alive because um, he left everything to Joel, and I don't know if Bill would do that unless he really was dead. Um, so I guess we'll we'll see but i'm i'm sure he's dead um which sucks cause i really did like him and obviously we just had we had him for this one one episode and i was felt like i watched a movie you know what i mean like i watched a movie of of him and i really 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 enjoyed it um emotional roller coaster and and kind of a different side of the world it's not in the quarantine zone but he's like how people are living outside like obviously it's just him that has that but i'm sure there's other people that probably are like that um, so it just kind of gave a different side of the world too, like one really without the infected per se, you know what I mean? He almost lived a completely alone life after that. 
like almost dealing with almost nothing. He had the, I'm sure he had some infected try to come up, but obviously that didn't last long. And then the Raiders, the one time that we saw, and there could have been more than that, but other than that, they lived a completely secluded life. So it's just something different than what we see of like the quarantine zones that everyone's packed together. Um, and, and, you know, fighting for food and everything like that. Um, it's just complete opposite, different, you know, it's like, you know, they're all alone. They got what they want, but they are all alone. So there is something to be about that. And, and that's, and I think that ultimately it might not have been as sustainable if they didn't have each other. You know what I mean? Like, um, just company in general. Um, I, I, if you were alone that whole time, no one to talk to, no one to, I mean, obviously I feel like that's still better than quarantine zones if you were there alone. But, you know, just having no one to talk to and, I, you know, who knows, you could have been insane by the time 2023 came around and, you know, if he was alone that whole time. I don't know what isolation would do to you like that, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, like I said, it was a beautiful story that they put together this episode. I really enjoyed it. It was like a movie. Like I just watched a movie of a, like a completely different story almost you know what i mean it's just it was great all right guys this has been jmo reacts if you enjoyed hit that like button down below and comment any suggestions on what you might want to see me react to next and with that being said i will see you guys in the next episode